Boo! <laughs> Happy Halloween! It's Andy Kelly, CEO of Sundial Consulting. And today, from the East Bay, I want to talk to you about removing the mask. Surprise, surprise. I want to talk to you about what you're afraid of. What are you hiding? What is it that you don't want us to see at work? Or what is it that you wish you could talk to us about at work? Um, I've been inspired to talk about removing the mask by my good friends at LinkedIn, Sales Solutions in North America. Uh, as part of Project Ignite, they've been helping their people find a safe space with their friends and buddies and colleagues where they can remove the mask. And the results have been astounding, profoundly life-changing. And I wanted to share that with you. Um, I wanted you to start to think about what are the things that you've been holding on to, either your whole career or more recently because of things that have happened to you recently. Um, most of us have some kind of mask at work, right? Um, you know, when I was in sales, it wasn't until afterwards that I realised I had so many um, that I piled on over the years for different customers and different people. And it took me a long time to unpick them and work out which one was me. Um, I think I was just afraid that I didn't have much to say. I wasn't actually that interesting to people. Um, so I just piled on these masks. I think we all do it at times. Um, thing you need to think about is this, right? If you've got a mask, most emotionally intelligent people can see it, right? They can tell you're not being completely yourself. They can tell that you're being a bit contained or holding back. Or they can tell that you've recently changed and you're not yourself. Uh, they can see the mask. Now, if you think about it logically, if you've got a mask on, if you're showing or holding things back, what do people think? What do people assume? They think you're hiding, right? They think you're hiding something. Now, unless you're very, very Machiavellian, which is actually rare these days, um, they assume you're hiding weakness. And therefore, if you play full with the logic, if someone sees a mask, they assume weakness. It's not actually helping you. Um, and however hard it may feel to remove it, however hard it may feel to expose your fears, um, you will benefit from it, I promise you. You will feel better, you will feel a sense of relief. People will get to know the real you and they'll rally around you. I've seen it so many times. Um, you know, I would advise you think about building a team around you where you can feel safe to talk. Um, get to know people, build some trust through openness so that you can talk and you can remove the mask. Um, it could be your dad never hugged you, your mum dropped you in the bath on your head. It could be you failed your exams at school, you never went to college. It could be your parents were alcoholics and you had to help them and come home from school and pick them up and bring up the family. You know, we've heard some stories recently. A new acquaintance of mine, who's very quickly becoming a dear friend, her sister had died recently, and it was really, really causing her problems and stress. And she found a space with her team where finally she could talk about it. And it was really hard for her to do it, but she tells me now that she's so pleased that she did, and it's been life-changing. Um, you may be struggling to have a baby. You may feel like you've got imposter syndrome and you're not really, you're not really up to the job. You know, you may feel like you're not funny enough, tall enough, um, but it's holding you back from being truly who you are. And it's holding back us from rejoicing and getting to know you in your authentic way. Um, so as I say, it's not something you have to do quickly. It's not something you should do quickly. It's something that you should do carefully with people that are there to support you. Um, but I'd like you to just start building that self-awareness of what it is that you've been hiding 
what are the masks that you're wearing and trying to see if you think you could find a way even in some small way to start to let it go start to open up the window so we can see you inside how about that all right i hope you all have a great halloween uh, but for now andy kelly ceo sundial consulting goodbye we hope you enjoyed that video if you did please share it with your friends and let us know with a like or a comment but more importantly please subscribe on the button below and also, if you really don't want to miss out on any of our great insights from me and my team, please also click the little bell. Okay, we look forward to speaking to you soon. For now, Andy Kelly, Sundar Consulting. Thank you.